So last night Drake released a new R&B style track from his album, which uh, still wasn't true. While I wait for the new project to release in October, though I might as well make a beat in the style of his new track, Slam You Up. I think the track's roughly like 60 BPM, but in double time that's 120, so I'm gonna go for 120 BPM for this beat. I think what I'm gonna do to start off real quick is open up Analog Lab 5 and look for an ambient pad that I can lay down a chord progression with. Let's see what I can do with this one. I think I'm gonna switch it up in the second half real quick. Alright, not too bad so far. I think I'm gonna wanna lay that with something else though. So I think I'm gonna use one of my favorite pads in Analog Lab 5, which is Coastline by Prod by Lona. I believe it's in the Layers Volume 2 kit. We'll see what that sounds like. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna bounce that out before it kills my PC. I'm gonna open up Edison, bounce that out real quick. All right, now that I've bounced out this pad, I wanna layer it again with another instrument. So I'm gonna open up Keyscape. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the keys in, but what I'm going to do is strum them and then remove a couple of notes. And then I'm gonna randomize the velocities a little bit, decrease the velocities a bit, and then I'm gonna increase the volume of the piano. The second chord reminds me of Zelda music and I don't know why. Could be the use of pentatonics, or I'm just addicted to Tears of the Kingdom and it's bleeding into other aspects of my life. Either way, I'm going to layer that piano with a Rhodes instrument, but I don't really like the low frequencies in the Rhodes instrument, so I'm going to just delete the bass notes and see what that sounds like. definitely going to use an acapella on this beat. It's just kind of hard to tell if it's usable or not because there's so much empty space. I think it's about time I add a bass line to this, so just from listening to the track, I can't really tell what bass sample they're using, and I'm going to use the Dark Roads piano bass. There's a lot of keyscape in this video, Jesus Christ. So far, there's not actually that much going on in this beat, and it's kind of worrying me. Like, so I think to fix that, I'm gonna look for some vocal samples and stuff like that to add in. There's no way I'm not using that. struggling a bit to get some texture into this beat, so I'm just going to open Analog Artifacts. That sounds pretty cool. Alright, a couple more and then I'll stop. Sounds pretty chill, but I still think it's missing some sort of melodic hook. It sounds more like meditation music than it does an actual beat. So to fix that, I'm gonna open up Serum real quick, and I think I'm gonna lay down some sort of ambient plug. Something like that maybe? Alright, I think the melody sounds busy enough now, so I feel like I'm more than happy to lay down some drums real quick.
authentic kick sample, one that sounds more like a live drum. And I'm just gonna lay that on top. Sounds pretty good, but I think the drums are missing a bit of texture. I'm gonna look for a drum loop that I can add real quick, preferably one with like a vinyl crackle in the background or something like that. Mm, I think it sounds okay, but I'm probably gonna have to mix that down. So now that I've got with the elements for the beat, I'm gonna give it a quick mix down and arrange everything and we'll see what it sounds like. So I think I finally finished arranging the beat. And when I did listen to the track, I noticed that the drums actually don't play that often. So I've only really included them in a couple areas in the track. And I did also add the acapella. I think I'm probably only going to play scissors part because I think I prefer over the Drake verses and hook. I'm sorry, I don't know if that's a popular opinion. But so real quick, I'm just going to see what the drums sound like with the melody. Even after mixing, I'm not like completely sold on that drum loop to be honest. I might just crank the volume of that a bit lower. <laughs> That's sounding pretty chill, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very happy with how that turned out. I think in the final listen, I did realize the problem with this beat though. The main melodic element in the reference track, the vintage vocal sample you can hear in the background, I don't actually know what the sample is. It's very recognizable, very iconic, and that carries most of like the melodic weight in the track. As in my beat, the one vocal element that I've added is more ambient, way more in the background, so it's a lot less recognizable, and therefore it's not really at the forefront of the beat. I think that's why I was trying to add so many things to the beat to try and fill in that gap, and in reality, I think all I really needed was like a recognizable vocal sample. Still pretty chill though, I think the beat complements the scissor vocals almost perfectly, so I see this as an absolute win. Once again, of course, thank you for watching. Hopefully, if you're looking for some inspiration, this video did help you in some way. And of course, if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. Let's just listen to the final beat and see what I could do better for next time.